Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from the uh, VoIP guys. Uh, last time we simulated doing uh, an outbound call to an external number where one of our soft phones was basically representing the entire world. Mm -hmm. um, what we're going to do today is we're going to take the dial plan a little bit further mm -hmm. and talk about uh, yeah, regular expressions, so how to simulate the uh, outside world in coding as opposed mm -hmm. to having just one soft phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Matthias is here to walk you through that. Mm -hmm. We just switch the console cool. directly. Mm -hmm. and see what we did last time, just, uh, just a little. Um, here is our problem. We say we want to dial the outside world, mm -hmm. and there is the only existing number in the outside world, which is 8888. Yep. Then we jump to the, our outgoing context, and there it's 8888, and then it calls our provider. Mm -hmm. So that's fine, but it's uh, kind of ugly. Yeah. <laughs> so the first idea could be I copy that line again and again and again and again for each number I want to call. That would be time consuming. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the way we want it. So there is a concept called regular expressions in asterisk. So you can use, if you know what regular expressions are, mm -hmm. then maybe you have a bit of an idea how it could work. If mm -hmm. not, it's just a kind of placeholder. Right, okay. And it's not, it's not really regular expressions. Mm -hmm. If you know regular expressions um, from a programming language, okay. they can do much more for you right. than uh, for, uh, as you can find it in asterisk. Mm -hmm. It's a special limited set of okay. regular expressions, right. but everything you need um, to create a placeholder for a number. Right. Okay. Cool. So um, don't expect it to be real regular expressions. Right but they can do a good job for you. Okay. Which are available, um, just go to the internet. There is a site called voip-info.org. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really good platform to talk about asterisk, mm -hmm. and you can find all the placeholders which are available. Uh -huh. I just explained the concept okay. and the most important placeholders at um, this time. Okay. So back to the console. Um, when I want to use a placeholder, I always have to start with underscore. Underscore, thank you <laughs> for the word. Um, with underscore. Why? Um, because you have to tell the system, be careful, mm -hmm. now there are placeholders inside. Okay. So, why is this so important? You could, I, I think I, I told it already, mm -hmm. you can not only dial numbers, mm -hmm. but you can also dial names. Yeah. I could just dial James yeah. and then it, then it would call you. Mm -hmm. There was an idea um, that you just call the email address of a person okay. and then you can talk to him. But yeah. Yeah, everybody likes the numbers and likes to dial it and knows how, know how it works. And mm -hmm. so it's not, yeah very popular concept. Okay, fair enough. But we need that underscore and it means, hey, asterisk, there is a regular expression or a placeholder in that number now. Right. So the most used and most important placeholder is X. Okay. X means any number from zero to nine. Mm -hmm. So if I want to um, represent our number 8888, eight, 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 I could say eight, X, 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 which means any number mm -hmm. with four digits. So uh -huh. not one, not two, not three, not, not four. four. No, <laughs> <laughs> 1,000, 1,000, uh, 1,001, yeah. 1,002, so mm -hmm. four digits. Yeah. Um, not shorter, mm -hmm. not longer. Okay. Just exactly four digits, zero to nine. Uh -huh. So also, Zero 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 one would match. Okay, and nine 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 nine. Would match. Yeah. yeah, yeah, would match. Yeah, but not one, not two. It's very easy, mm -hmm. but sometimes you fool yourself. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. So um, the concept behind it is quite simple, but uh, mm -hmm. to get your brain around it could be a little mm -hmm. bit more mm -hmm. tricky. That's true. So that means this extension matches every four-digit number. You okay. die. So now it should work. It should just work and I should just be able to dial 8888 mm -hmm. 
and then it makes the jump to our outside world. So it's not much better now, mm -hmm. but a little better. Yeah. <laughs> so we just test if that works. Now I try to do a little trick. Yes, here is the dial plan and here is a console. Maybe this was the IP address, no. I just log in again, so we have two consoles. And I can reload the dial plan and stay in the dial plan. Was this our IP yep. address? I think so. Just change the size again a little bit. Then I make it smaller just for your convenience. <laughs> Then I say dial plan reload. What would we expect? We would expect that we are able to dial 8888 mm -hmm. and then it calls the outside world. Okay. So we just try it. You can see James is calling the outside world and it's working with 8888. Mm -hmm. So now what do you think? If I dial 1111, would it work? Judging by your question, <laughs> probably not, because <laughs> the outgoing concept still has 888 in Yeah, but this, uh, this does not matter, because it matches 1111, and then it goes hard-coded just to the outside. If that's true, then, so it probably should work. Yeah, it should work. Maybe. Uh -huh. It works. So now I can dial any number. No, not any number. Any, any four-digit number. Oh, you got the point. Yeah. <laughs> any four-digit number. <laughs> so this is the first thing um, I wanted to explain you with mm -hmm. regular expressions. So now we're, it's a little bit better. The situation is a little bit better because mm -hmm. now we can dial every four-digit external <laughs> extension. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's still not very good. Okay. Um, we want to dial any number of any length. Okay. So there is a, the next trick or next thing you should know okay. and the new sign I want to introduce. Right. So you can remove it again, our X's, and just add a point after the X. Okay. What does the point mean? The point means the digit before. Yeah. Which can be in our case 0 to 9 mm -hmm. as often as, as you want to. Okay. Uh, and also 0 times. Uh -huh. So um, it can also be just 1, 2, 3, 4, or it can be 10 or 1000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so it's uh, basically uh, x to infinity yeah. and not at all. Yeah. Right. And here's another fool's friend. Um, you could think. Something like this works. In many cases, you have to dial a zero mm -hmm. to dial to the outside world. Yeah. And I see very often that expression. Mm -hmm. And that means underscore zero. If you dial zero, then it goes to the outside and the number can be as long as it wants to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it does not work. It does not work because it mean, uh, uh, the point means... The, the, letter, the number before or yeah. the letter before mm -hmm. as often as you want to. So you can dial zero, 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 mm -hmm. zero, 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 zero. Uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another thing you should know. So if you want that you can dial zero followed by any number. Followed by the n any number repeated infin yeah. infinitely. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So now we should be able to dial any number starting with zero. Okay. Just save the file. Just reload the dial plan. Give it a try. If I dial 1111, should it work? Yes. Oh no, because there's no zero. Ah, good, <laughs> good point. <laughs> so we try it and we see James wants to call 1111 rejected because extension not found in yeah. context. Mm -hmm. But if we put a zero in front of that, it will work. Yeah.
So that's basically how the, how regular expressions work. Uh -huh. There are a few uh, a few other regular expressions, mm -hmm. uh, but you don't need them really very often. No? Okay. Um, for uh, our American friends, there is another thing. It's called n. Right. And it's not. I think it's a number without zero, uh -huh. because they have country codes and area codes where yeah. you can uh, say it does not start with a zero and so on. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think, and there is also set um, another um, variable, and I think there also is no one and no two or yeah. something like this. Okay. So there are some other mm -hmm. um, variables you can use, or um, you can just put something in brackets, as you mm -hmm. know it from the normal regular expression, yeah. and you can say one, two, three, or three, two, five, yeah. something mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. But that's the basic concept um, how the regular expressions in asterisk work. Um, it's still not very good because mm -hmm. in any case we dial 8888 at the end. Yeah. So the next concept we have to look at is storing things in variables. Okay. So that I can say if I dial 12345, then I want to send 12345 to the provider. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the next concept we okay. have to look at, variables. There we go. Uh, next time we'll be uh, covering the subject of variables. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And as always, if you've got any questions, let us know in the blog post. Cheers. Bye. Okay.